Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about uh, the top cards that we like uh, for a couple different age groups. Um, it's a common question that I see asked in the Yodo groups of what card should I get, what card does your two-year-old like? Um, so I thought I'd share some of our favorites. Um, we have a ton of cards. We have had the big Yodo for over a year now. Um, really big Yodo fans, so we, we buy cards pretty often and we make a lot of the make your own as well. Um, I'll share some of those um, at the end of favorites that I've made for my kids and, and where to kind of find that audio content. Um, so I'm going to start with some of these cards here. Um, we really love all the radio stations. I linked a lot of them to make your own cards, um, and we use those quite often um, for any age, really. Um, but this is one of the favorites, and then the preschool version of uh, this radio station as well is really great. Um, the Story Shed, my five-year-old really likes it. I really like it as well. Um, Jake does a great job on there. He doesn't make episodes very often since he's doing the Yodo podcast, um, but we listen to the Yodo podcast daily, um, and this one whenever there's a new episode. Um, there's also But Why in the podcast section that we've linked to a card, and that one is also a favorite podcast. Um, some of like the sound effects cards we really like. Um, my almost two-year-old loves this card. Uh, there's also an Animal Sounds one in some of the Lego set, Lego Duplo sets, and that is definitely a favorite of hers too. Um, the fire one you would think wouldn't be really that interesting to them, but my five-year-old absolutely loves to use this um, when she's doing pretend play. So she'll use it um, while she's playing, um, you know, house or camping or whatever it is that she's doing. Um, that one gets used quite often, and I was actually kind of surprised that it does. I think that one's pretty much good for any age. Um, the animal sound one is probably a younger card, uh, probably for closer to two and under. This set, um, there's a full set of them, about six of them. Um, my five-year-old loves these cards, all of them. Um, I think this is a great card for really three and up um, to just get moving, do the activity with it. Um, they're cute little cards uh, that do stretches and yoga and all these sorts of different activities um, that we find really popular with our kids. Uh, this one is a great one for, um, just like it says, four to seven year olds. Um, my five year old really enjoys this one. She'll use her counting bears with it and follow along with it. It's been um, pretty popular since she started kindergarten and she's been big into doing more math. Some cards that my younger daughter, who is almost two, that re really likes. Um, these are some of the story cards. The Tabby McTat and some of the other Julia Donaldson ones too are a big hit because she likes the sound effects, she likes uh, the music that they have on them, um, and they're just really fun all together. Um, she really loves um, these two as well. Um, we have the whole series of Splat, and we have the other Bad Kitty one too that she likes. Um, the other Julia Donaldson ones are good too, but there are some that don't have the music that she doesn't really care as much about. Some stories that my five-year-old really likes um, that I feel are, are definitely better for probably four and up crowd, maybe some three and up crowd. Um, the Frog and Toad one, which is pretty new. We really enjoyed that one. We got that one in the, in the Yodo Club. Uh, Hotel Flamingo, we have all four of them, and they've been a huge hit. Um, I really enjoy listening to them too. They're just cute little cards, and I love the, the accent that they have. Um, we have the whole Enchanted Wood series. Um, those have been a, a big hit too. They're longer stories, um, but we, we really enjoy them. The Topsy and Tim have been a favorite. They have a lot of shorter stories on there, so it's nice because they can listen to a couple stories and then move on and listen to something else. Um, been a huge favorite. The Ramona set, the Henry set, um, all of those. Um, we really enjoy, um, even my 14 year old, she loves to listen to these ones. Now, Mr. Gum, um, it's definitely more meant for more mature audiences, uh, but we do really, I find the stories quite cute myself and, and really enjoy them. Um, I think depending on, you know, what you allow as a parent, you might want to listen to them first and see if you 
want to allow them because they are kind of weird. Um, but my five-year-old finds them quite funny, and, and I don't find them that bad. Um, however, my kids really prefer music cards to anything. So some of our favorite music cards, um, and I really love some of these too myself. I just got kind of the favorites out. Um, so Wheels on the Bus, my two-year-old, definite favorite. She will pull that out every time um, and dance to it. Um, my five-year-old also really loves it. I think that's great for any age. Um, the Kids Bop one, my five-year-old just started getting into these kind of songs, more the poppy stuff, um, and she really enjoys them. We have all three. Um, she doesn't really prefer one over the other. Um, she likes them all. Um, any of the, the Casper baby pants, um, we all love. They're just silly little songs, um, and we really enjoy them. The Beatles one is actually one of my favorites. I think that's great for any age. Um, the Mrs. H, we have both of them, and this one they definitely prefer. Um, kind of a weird songs, but uh, we really, really do like them. Uh, a New Kids album, one of my favorite. Um, I'd say my kids don't really care about it too much, but I actually really love that one. I think it's just um, nice music. Um, newest favorite would probably be the Yodo Christmas Party. Uh, that one was just really fun, and I, I was really impressed with uh, the song that they had um, and really enjoyed that one. The Old English Nursery Rhymes, um, both my kids love it. I'd say that would be great for any age. Uh, the Lego Duplo set, each set has a music card, um, and my two-year-old, almost two-year-old, really loves all of the Lego Duplo sets. Um, kind of young for my five-year-old, I'd say most of the Lego Duplo sets are better for probably three and under. Um, not really meant for older kids, um, or at least my five-year-old hasn't really taken to them. Um, so those are some of the non-make-your-own favorites. I'm gonna go over some of the bedtime favorites now. Um, one of my five-year-old's absolute favorites that she listens to every night is Alfie. Alfie is a bedtime card in our house for some reason, um, but that's just what she listens to. Um, I don't have it because she's in bed right now listening to it. But some other favorites, we use a sound machine with the Yodo until we can get some sort of timer that will let it play after the card. Um, so when we're on the go, we actually use the Yodo as a sound machine only. Um, so we use this card and we really like that one because it's similar to what they have for the regular sound machine. Um, this lullaby card um, is one of my five-year-old's favorites, and my almost two-year-old also loves it, too. We use that one a lot at bedtime. Um, this one's also popular. The bedtime story ones are a little less popular in our house. Um, my five-year-old really doesn't really care about any of them, but my almost two-year-old does really like some of these stories. Um, these ones are really popular. I see in the Yoda group, especially this Dreams of Ocean one. Um, I really like the Dream of Space one too. The Casper Baby Pants Sleepy Songs. Um, both my kids really like that one. Definitely just fun little songs um, to go to sleep to. The Story ones, Ladybird Stories. Um, my two-year-old really likes those. Um, my almost five-year-old does really, five-year-old does really like this one. That was a fun one. Uh, this one's a favorite with my almost two year old. Um, this one neither of my kids have really taken to, but I think it sounds nice. Um, I like her stuff. And then we got some Disney lullabies that I did a make your own card with and just some other make your own um, little songs that my kids have liked. Um, some of our favorite make your own cards. Few different card storage options. Um, anything music. So we do a lot of different music ones. Um, the Tiger Who Came to Tea was definitely a favorite. Um, story Make Your Own Card. I'm just trying to see here. We did a um, Curious George card and a Blippi card. Um, here's one of our other radio cards that we linked. There's the But Why one that we linked. Um, these ones my kids haven't really cared about. Um, I think they're cute. Um, neither one of my kids have really taken to those ones yet. Um, Funny Bones was a hit, though, and 
uh, the Beatri Beatrix Potter collection that I did make your own card with. Um, my five-year-old really loves both of those. There's another Splat the Cat from that set. These are just some different cards that we've either bought or done a make your own with. So let's see. A lot of the favorites are really just the song ones. My kids really prefer the music ones, uh, to be honest. We've done a holiday music one. That one was a big hit. Um, this is a just one that we bought, the beatbox one. My five-year-old actually really likes that one. She'll listen to that one quite a bit. Um, we've done a Beatles card. I really enjoy that one. Um, and my daughter will listen to that too. Uh, Nick Cope, that was a big hit. And Kids Bop, any of those uh, for the Make Your Own ones have been nice. We did a lot of Casper baby pants too. Another Nick Cope one. The Trolls one was fun. Um, another big, the Shrek one was really nice. And another big pants. Here's some of the radio stations that I've made into cards. I just linked them to a card right in the radio station. Same with the podcast. Um, I listen to the podcast probably more than my kids, but there's the other set of those. Here's some other cards. Now, the Ladybird Audio Adventures, a lot of kids really love those. Um, I think they're probably more for like the four and up crowd. Um, my kids have not really gotten into them, to be honest with you. Um, I really had hoped they would like them because we have a ton of them, um, but they just haven't been a huge hit with them. Um, I really enjoy them though, so I buy them and listen to them myself. Um, here's some of the other Julia Donaldson ones. Um, let's see here. So these ones I read a lot of stories on, uh, different biscuit books, um, Mr. Panda books. Um, my kids really liked those. Uh, Pete the Cat was a big hit. Alice in Wonderland was a big hit with my 14 year old. There's other Splat the Cat books. Another Ramona, Mr. Gum collection. Uh, the Snowman one was really cute. I really liked that one in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, one thing that I did that was not a hit with my kids is that I put some of these movies onto the cards. Um, it's hard to, to listen to those because you can't, you don't know what's going on when there's moments of silence and just some like background noise. Um, so those have not been a big hit and I'm gonna, I'm gonna overwrite those ones. Um, there's some more of the uh, Lego sets. Um, and let's see here. I did some Dr. Seuss, and uh, this one was probably a big hit. The Robert Munch books, you can get those for free right on his website. He has the MP3s listed right there. Um, lots of great stories. I think there's about 50 of them um, that were really great. Uh, Macy Mouse is a big one that my kids love. Um, Sesame Street has been a big hit. Um, so may I ask, like, where do I get all this audio from? Um, so some of it, family and friends read. Um, some of it I read, some of it I find on YouTube or from the library. Um, that's mainly where I get my audio from. Some people have an issue with that. I'm just using it for myself and my kids, and really it's just other people reading stories too, just the same as if I were to read a story or my family were to read a story. Um, and you can see one of my other videos about how to make uh, your own card from uh, YouTube if you wanted. Uh, to kind of get an idea, um, you can use, uh, you know, like BorrowBox or um, Hoopla or any of those to get um, audio from your library. Or if you just check out an audiobook from the library, then you can do it that way. Um, that's some great easy ways to, to get audio. If you have um, Audible, you can use the program Open Audible to convert those to MP3s to download those. Um, it's not too complicated. I talk about it a little bit in one of my other videos. Um, but those are some of our favorite cards. Uh, I hope that was helpful.